All right, son, we're rolling. Friday afternoon. Man, that was a quick turnaround, huh? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, a lot of good reviews again for uh, both the episodes. A lot of people uh, didn't know about the the special edition episode, actually. Yeah, I- so when you drop too quickly like that, you know, Facebook's weird with what it shows you and what it okay. doesn't. So I'm sure when I drop both, like, pretty quick back to back they're kind of tough to find yeah I, remember, I was like yeah we put two out and they're like oh there was a second one i was like yeah there was a whole episode about uh the the birth of van and they're like oh shit i checked it out so it was that's like, why like, that's why you just subscribe to the youtube channel you don't even have to worry about oh, it. i know i know. They just get the updates when we upload something yeah, it'd be like those douchebags. Like, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I, you know what? I say like, comment, subscribe. At the, I type that in at the bottom of the, uh, at the uh, bottom yeah, of the videos. To. But, but I don't, I don't say anything about notifications because I don't even do that shit. No, no. And I think I have them turned on for one channel, and it's like, I think it's the Pittsburgh Pirates one because I like to watch <laughs> the game recaps. But uh, so what's good, dude? It's Friday. I seen uh, you guys were out and about yesterday. I got a Snapchat from Caitlin. She was drinking a uh, a hard seltzer, and I was like, Yeah. Hey. I didn't even think about it until I closed the snap. I was like, Wow. Wait, she probably hasn't had any uh, sauce in a while. She yeah, she wasn't able to drink for quite a while. I mean, technically nine months, but I mean, she was. I think her last bottle of wine was a little bit in before she knew before she found out she was right. pregnant. And I, I, I don't know the. Uh, I, I think you can have like a beer. Like I think one beer doesn't hurt. I don't know. But well, that's it. it. They claim a beer. bunch of shit like that. But a, who are you trusting? I exactly. mean, better safe than sorry. And b, what the fuck are you getting out of one beer? So right. Wow. <laughs> you know <laughs> what's even the point? Earl Dick. They should put that warning right on the on the cases now. What are you getting out of one beer, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. Just don't even risk fetal alcohol syndrome. Right. So no, we were uh, we went down to Point Street last night. We saw that oh, the old fucking canal getting set up down there. We'll get into that. A oh bit later. man, dude, did you? My Facebook exploded with the uh, canal days heat. Yes. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm gonna have to bring up that comment thread at some point throughout this, so I can read off some of them because I was, dude. There were ones I, I like. I forgot about that whole old mill thing, and we'll get into that later. But that shit was crazy. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, uh but yeah, what's up? Uh, what's been going on your way? Well, you know, I'm off. off uh, well, first off, I, you see, I made a, a monumental purchase a uh, couple of days ago. You have to remind me, but I, I bought I'm, Rolex. Oh yes, yeah. Um, dude, fucking, I posted it on Snapchat. Like, yeah, I got that cat litter money, and fucking Mark had to ruin it. Was like, you're a fucking liar. He sent a message to me, and I was like, God damn it, started to guilt trip me. So then I made a new, I made an updated snap and said I paid seventeen dollars and ninety five cents for this. And then a bunch of people messaged me. It was like, why would you say that? I was like, God damn it, dude! You but, can't win at you can't win now. I know, I know. But uh, the reason I got that, I mean, I don't. I, I rock a gold chain and earrings, but I'm getting too old for earrings. It's kind of corny, but I rock a gold chain. But I never was into rock and roll. I had a fossil watch. Remember fossil watches back in the day? Everybody had one of those. No, nah, dude. I I was never a watch person. Yeah, you probably got busted them up on the skateboard there. Yeah. But uh, um, I got it off of dhgate.com, which is where I get all my jerseys from. And, dude, <laughs> they have all kinds of shit. And this is what sparked my interest in looking at other things. The only things I've ever looked at on there were jerseys and 4K projectors. But the 4K okay. projectors are like $350, and that's still too much to like. You're buying counterfeit shit, but $350, I mean, those things are like $2,500. At right, store. so you, you're getting a deal, but it's still a lot of money to... Yeah, I don't uh, want to front that for something that's going to be 50-50. And what got me going on, you know, the depths of DH Gate was, I was talking to this girl, I work with Paige, she's cool as hell, we always talk about shit, and... uh I, we were talking about counterfeit jerseys one time, and you know you're talking to the foremost authority on the uh, Asian jersey trade. And she was like, "Did you go to DH Gate?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's where I always go." She was like, "I was actually in a wedding where the bride bought the bridesmaid dresses off of there." I was you gotta like, be kidding. "What?" I was like, "That is the dumbest thing." I was like, "No offense to your friend or anything, but I got like 
really amplified. I was like, what? I was like, that shit, they, that, nothing's ever sized right. And it, trying to return right. something there is chaos. Well, A, you got to wait forever to yeah, get it. Dude. I mean, it takes a while. And if you have to return it, that's even a, that's even a longer process. Dude. It says 15 to 35 days when you buy something now. <laughs> the only time I've actually had a problem with them, I mean, was uh, I bought a Mike Smith Coyotes jersey for shits and giggles. Yes. And I got a size bigger. Always get a size bigger on there. Except the jersey I got you looked like you were... Uh, I was swimming in it, dude. You hammer, dude, with that thing on. I was like, I did. I, I probably lost some weight in between there somewhere as well, so that, that didn't help. It looked like it was a goalie-style cut. I was like, holy shit. But, uh... I got that, and I got that Mike Smith jersey, and when I got it, dude, it was probably a large, but it said 3X, so I was pissed, so I went to the Reebok, it was, the Reebok was still making jerseys at the time, I went to their official hockey site, got the dimensions, and then sent them pictures with tape measurers lined up, I was pissed, I'm playing, I can't, went deep, like, yeah. where's that tape measure at, I need it. Yeah, dude, so they, they have a, a great feature on there, you can dispute an item right away, like, and uh, they'll they'll contact you. So I disputed it and sent them those pictures. And I was like, "This isn't this isn't a three X." And they're like, "Just keep it, and we'll refund your account." So maybe that's what they like. I don't think they even want to deal with uh, with returns, man, because that's got to be a fucking nightmare. Right. Like, it probably cost them fucking thirty five cents to make it. So whatever. Oh yeah. uh, man, I, I one day in my life, if I ever go to the Far East, I want to go over to where they make all this shit and just hang out for a while. Our boy, uh, our boy Tricky from Ohio, uh, he said there's probably a statue of me over there that I don't even know about <laughs> in front of the, the counterfeit jersey place. I was like, dude, I hope so. That'd be awesome. The God has ordered another jersey. Yeah, Put it together. Like, Eden families out there, dude. <laughs> like, dude, this kid's about to send us 35 bucks for this thing. He's going to feed us for a, a year and a half. I've no doubt, dude. They need to make the commercials like they used to do for UNICEF, like... With two throwback purchases, you could feed this family of eight for <laughs> two months. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're setting this together in their little fucking uh, I, uh, shacks. Jesus. I don't even want to. Uh, Dude, I was reading, I think it's a place that produces parts for the iPhone, that they actually have nets outside of the building to stop people from killing yeah. themselves. I've heard that. It's that I've, bad. I've had some shitty days at work, don't get me wrong, dude, but I never really thought about, like... Ah, man, you know what? This building's about eight stories high. You know, if I, if I don't know, dude. Put me on the 33rd floor, give me a shitty day, and I'll fucking 9-11 it. <laughs> dude, take, dude, man, the free fallers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Those images are forever burned into the brain. I know, I know. Watch, watching that shit in eighth grade, like, whoa. Uh, I know, I know. I remember, dude, I don't even know where we're getting on to this, but. No one told us. I was in sixth grade, dude. No one ever. We didn't find out till like two thirty when we left at three o'clock. For was, real? Uh, dude, I promise you, we were all all in one of the modulars. Watch, dude. Everyone was dipping. Everybody was leaving. But I was best friends with Kyle Davis at the time, and his dad worked in downtown New York City. And someone told him and said his dad was cool, but he didn't know what the fuck was going on. And then like, we were watching uh, Aristocats. That's a classic. Yeah. The, the Disney movie, and because we were all in one room, and then like you know, you had to put it on Channel Three back yep. in the day. Well, Channel Three, that was Channel Four News, and they stop it. And it says "Attack on America" on the underline thing. I was like, "What the fuck?" And then finally, hide, it was, hiding it from you guys. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, "You guys are retarded." I uh, do. We were we were sitting in fucking class, like watch. It, like, that's what we did all day was watch that shit. Right. Yeah, because I guess they thought at twelve we weren't mature enough. Like, dude, I want to know what's going on. The, uh, the, yeah, I don't, I don't want to get into it too much because what a terrible, terrible subject. But the one thing I do remember is uh, them just like the teachers just reassuring us, just like, look, I, I know this is scary, blah, blah, blah. This is in New York. Nothing's going to happen in Western Pennsylvania. Right. And then not long fucking later, you get that Somerset shit. And you're like, wait, you just told us nothing was happening here. And then all of a sudden, I, yeah, it was pretty fucking oh, wild. My, yeah, dude, that would have fucked me up. But all right, dude. We'll save that for September. We'll do a special yeah, edition. Yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back in September to talk episode. about. Yeah. But uh, today, tick is one of my favorite. The beginning of one of my favorite things. Oh shit! 
Yes. You know what that is, and it's good. It's good soccer. The 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 2019 Women's World Cup kicks off today in France at two o'clock. I got France minus 350 against China. I think. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, people can talk about women's sports. I know. I mean, the pay and that Title Nine shit. I understand, but. I'm just going to be blunt. No one gives a fuck about women's sports, dude. And it even shows in the demographics, like when they show the TV ratings, even women from 20 to 35 are not watching women's sports. Right. But, however, the Women's World Cup is an exception. It's quality soccer, dude, and them girls are good, and the USA is going to bring it home again, and I can't fucking wait, dude. Cause they it's are, every they are favorites, right? Yeah, two to one, dude. That's just double your yeah. money. So I'm going to hopefully hit some first inning here, bets here uh, six, and then lay the hammer down on – on them, on them women. So, uh, but I have a story from a women's World Cup final that was uh, it was one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. Um, it was 2011. Tick. I don't know if we were kicking it back then. Cool. Uh, that, that was that's that's right on the edge. Right. Of everything. Because like how I think 75 percent of the story start out on here was we were drinking at Mark's house the day before. <laughs> And so, it's a standard standard starter. It is, dude. We were at eight eleven, dude. I might get an eight eleven tattoo. I love that place. But uh, um, we got drunk as fuck. And the next day was the Women's World Cup final, United States versus Japan. And uh, I, me and Mark put a bunch of money on it. I was going to home to shit, shower, and shave, and then come back. I forget the time the game started, two or three or whatever. But I was talking to Mark to get the details. Um, him and a friend of ours, they were the only two left there. A uh, girl I've known since, fuck, four, five, yeah, four or five years old. Um, they made a big-ass breakfast that just consisted of scrambled eggs and sausage, I believe. And I guess she almost drank a half gallon of whole milk by herself. Just, like, got the hot pipes and just uh, crushed the milk. I, you, you can't. You can't tame the hot pipes with milk, man. No, you, I know you, it sounds like a good idea, but that's not that's not a good idea after no. a night of drinking. You don't want to pump that shit into your stomach after that. So, anyways, I come back down and it's a good game, dude. We're up there ripping bongs, crushing Budweisers because they had the the uh, red, white, and blue cans out. And so, me and Mark just hanging out, listening to music, got the game on, and the girl's laying flat on the couch, but she's cool. She's not like unconscious or anything, like. She played soccer. She's talking to us and shit. Game goes into extra time, and I hear, like, a burping, like, snorting sound. And I look over, dude, and she's throwing up, but she's not moving. She's throwing up directly into the air, and it's coming all over her face and shirt. And, like, Mark, like, grabbed my arm, dude. Like, we were like, whoa, dude, like, what the fuck is going on? And she's, like, laughing. She's like, oh, my God. We're like, yo, dude, like, what was it? Get to the bathroom. And she couldn't, dude. She would just project out vomiting. That's how people have died. Like, but oh, being yeah. con- like how Hendricks went down, I think. Like, you put him on your side. But she was conscious. Dude, she was watching the game. It wasn't like she was passed out. I was like, holy fuck, dude. So just, it was like a scene out of the exorcism, dude. Or the exorcist. Just milk and eggs, facial. I was like, oh, my God. Fuck it, just so, a water fountain. Of, uh. Yeah, it was all through her hair and her face and her shirt. And me and Marker, dude, so she goes to take a, uh, a shower, and it smells so bad that we're just ripped. Like, there were two rules at 811. Do you know what they were? Uh, no, you'll have to remind me. Number one was no fucking in Rose's bed. That was okay. number one. Okay. And number two were no cigarettes in the house. And Mark was pretty stern on that, but he made an exception that day. It started smelling so bad in the July heat that well, we were just. Well, I will say that that fucking room was hot. Oh, that, yeah, dude. We used to rock double air conditioners in a room that was about seventy square feet, dude. And they could it, they couldn't keep up, like no. Yeah. That I don't know if it was just where it was built or since it was so high off the ground, but dude, I'm not even a fan of cigarettes. I'm smoking them, dude. I'm not even inhaling them. I'm just putting the Marlboro Red smoke into the air so we don't have to smell vomit. Oh, it was crazy, dude. So me and Mark are out. They lost in penalty kicks, I think, or extra time. I was pissed. But Kelly's out. Damn it. But she's outside. <laughs> Damn it. I texted her earlier today and said, but we'll just leave it at that. And, uh, I knew I was going to do that. She was outside with all the couch cushions and a hose. Just... <laughs> Washing them down. Me and Mark was sitting there laughing, and Rose calls us, and she's like, "She would look, dude." Rose had never really yelled at us, 
Like, we had to really fuck up for her to lose her mind. And she was at that stage, and she looked at us and was like, you boys want to tell me what the fuck is going on up there? And I was like, Rose, it's cool. It, like, it was a freak accident, man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but that was, whew, every time I watch women's soccer, I think of good old eggs. I was like, eggs. God damn, man, it was, it was something else. The old egg fountain. Oh, wow. man, it was crazy, dude. I remember, like, being in stunned silence for a good ten seconds, like, whoa, dude. This is insane. Well, you, you know, it's not, it's not a woman's World Cup story, but that does remind me of a World Cup story we always talk about this one comes from uh homer city you remember when we lived in homer city was it the uh yeah i remember jesus christ dick you act like i wasn't there every friday dude i'd go there after work i know for two weeks and i'd go there before i even went home dude that that place was eh, that place was a shit show remember you had shitty neighbors i had the worst neighbors in the world they lived downstairs that's all i can remember that complete trash and fucking kids on the loose at all times no fucks given about anybody else living there it was a shit show real quick i remember i thought i lost my wallet at your house and we were going like flipping the house upside down i drive home without it i get out of my car and it was on the dash like where i couldn't see it i was like dude i'm gonna kill myself (laughs) i think i remember that and then uh you also had a you had an mp3 player stolen huh yeah my iphone or my eye touch Fucking kids. Yeah. I guarantee it was those kids. And that's all that thing could do. And it had the battery life of a 95-year-old with double pneumonia. Like, that to go ahead, dude. It's got to stay plugged in, man. <laughs> Good. I hope they I hope they hated themselves after they got that Me home. Too. Like, Me too. Was it worth it? Yeah. Was that really worth it? Yeah, it probably was for them. Fucking losers. Yeah. Probably sold it for 20 bucks and got fucking a couple Sanchez pizzas or something. <laughs> Old Sanchez. I think we were probably eating Sanchez the day the, the Men's World Cup. What game was that? That was the U.S. and who were Belgium. they playing? That? Belgium. Belgium. Man, that was a uh, that was a good game. That U.S. was down early, but came back and that that one free kick, man, right at the end. Belgium a, scored two in extra time. They were up two after the 90th minute, and then we got a cheap one. And then yes, dude, that free kick. That free kick. They played it perfect and didn't fucking put it in. It oh, was, it was such a great trick play. Ugh. That's what, man. Caitlin lost her mind that day. Yeah, she I, did. Too. She I was, was she was working, and we were we were uh, drinking and watching soccer. We were drinking twisted teas, eating Italian hoagies or something. <laughs> I remember we went to Samsung's before the game, and we're sitting there watching this game, and she's working. She is on the phone, and uh, she she deals with some highly a highly sensitive material and be like shit that has to get to places on time right. like it's so very lost, time sensitive they lost some papers or something uh, Fed, fedex just straight up lost shit yeah and she was not having it i remember we were like yelling about the game and she was like i don't give a fuck i was like whoa <laughs> i've never heard her mad before i've never seen her mad Try, trying like, to be oh. quiet trying to keep it down all this stuff going on in the game and she's out there just giving it to fedex yeah, dude, I was like, holy shit, man. That was awesome. Yeah, sometimes, you know what, dude? Sometimes you got to fucking yell at them. Ugh. You got to yeah. yell at them, man. Dude, when you're, when you're in a job like that, I mean, it's cool if, like, my tracking number's messed up for the average fella like me. But, like, when you start messing with people's money, yep. people's job security, not job security, but, like, someone could, you know, could lose your job on some shit like that. <laughs> Motherfuckers get deported shit doesn't get there on time. Yeah, dude, calling up ice, man. But I had to deal with it fucking you know, twice twice this week. Goddamn fucking Amazon. What are they messing up? Ordered a package What available for one-day delivery, which is great. Free, right? Like, they offer uh, the occasional thing available for one oh, day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that. Sign up for it. Get an email that's like, ah, it's taking longer than expected. Okay, fine, cool, whatever. Uh, I don't mind waiting an extra day or two. Motherfuckers, though, I saw, and I don't, because they, the way they ship now is a little different. They started hiring all these different fucking third-party companies, right? Oh, yeah, I've bought some stuff off of there. And the motherfuckers, I, I get an email the one day that goes, hey, we attempted to deliver this package. Um 
but got no response. So we'll deliver it tomorrow. And I'm like, what the fuck? A, because I I was home. And especially like when they claimed they tried to drop the package off. I was like, uh-uh. I was fucking sitting right here. Well, who was handling it? The post office? No, it was not. It was one of their fucking, one of the people they hire. One of the third third party companies. I've never had nothing but FedEx or uh, UPS or the post office drop my shit off. Nah, dude, they got people in like fucking vans, like cargo vans and shit, driving around around here just dropping shit off at doors. Yeah, maybe because you're closer to the city. Yeah, it may be. That makes sense, yeah. But claiming they attempted, like, hey, like, we we stopped by. We didn't get any response, so we'll be back. And I'm like, fuck you. You didn't stop by. I was here. And B, when the fuck have you ever had a problem dropping a package on my doorstep before? Yeah. I, yeah. Every package I've ever had has just been left at my doorstep and they walk away. And I'm like, what the fuck's the difference? I had, you know, I'm getting to that point in my life where I, I get pissed off and I won't put up with it. So I'm the asshole that jumps on fucking support and I got to let me let me yeah. talk with somebody. Let's go with, back to uh, the first episode days. Right. right? <laughs> and I'm still doing it, man. I, I refuse. I refuse to accept it. And I, I got on there chatting with somebody online and i was like you know what they fucking said they tried to drop it and i said there's absolutely no way i said i was here they didn't do shit and i said you drop every other package on my doorstep what's wrong with that one like it's not like dude they've left hundreds of dollars of like electronics and stereo equipment on my fucking doorstep and it was like a 30 dollar package it was like something for the kid you know and i was like why why the fuck wouldn't you drop it and they were like okay you know they they dealt with it and it was here the next day. Fine. And then fucking DoorDash, the old uh, food delivery service oh, dude, the that's other coming night. To, that's coming to Muscatine next Sunday, dude. Oh, yeah, I'll get ready because you're going you're to spend a lot of money, bud. I know, dude. The thing is, if they were like giving out some referral bonuses, and I was the first one to find out about it. Because I signed up, dude, probably when I first moved down here. It says, we'll let you know when this is available to your area. Right. Bang, got the email. First kid on the block that knew it. I'm getting everybody. I'm trying to get all these referrals, dude. Get like 500 bucks worth of free food. Well, that's you. You're good with that. That and the gambling referrals. Oh, my, dude, Tick, I've made some, dude. Oh, man, there's not a better feeling than when you see, like, man, because it doubles. You get double what they put in. Right. And, dude, Hauser, we'll tell some gambling stories about him. He put two hundred bucks in, dude. When he when I first told him about Bovada, I get on four hundred dollars, dude. I was like, yes, man, this is amazing. But no, we had to deal with them the other night. Fucking perma- we trying to get permanies, and they're like, oh yeah, your order's done. Like your order's done. Just wait to be picked up, dude. Nobody picked it up for like forty five minutes, and then it took her another twenty five to get here. And I was like, ah, yeah. I don't know what the I don't know what the situation with that is. The wife handled that one, so. But she had to send out an email. I, uh, I'm tired of dealing with incompetent people. I know. I don't, dude. I've never, I've never let stuff like that get to me. I'm one. I don't know. I, it's just because I really don't care about anything. The, oh, I have bitched at Amazon Prime before because I said, why am I paying for this service? Because th- I have this service for two day shipping, man. Right. Like, if you can't get there in two days, don't say it's gonna. I understand that, man. She, don't put prime. Don't put prime on the thing I'm buying then. If it's not gonna be here in two days. But I can also understand that because I've been on the other end of that, man. When I worked at UPS, like, dude, oh, it's a nightmare. It Look, is you, a nightmare. Things happen. Things happen, and I let the occasional thing slide. But there are certain, like, like I when I was talking to the Amazon representative, I was like, look. I let I don't care if I gotta wait an extra day here or there. I said, but I fucking don't lie to me. Don't yeah. tell me you tried to drop that fucking thing off because I'm not stupid. Yeah, I've that's been awesome. here. Uh, yeah, I I don't play that fucking game. Don't act like you did your part and I just wasn't home. Fuck you. I just brush it under the rug. Yep. Nah, that's I- like well, that's like the fucking fat bitch that dropped the food off the other night. Oh, I'm sorry, they were busy. Now they fucking weren't. Our uh, food was uh, done over an hour ago. Um, like you don't think the app shows us the where our food is at and like what what part of the process we're in? Yeah, this is in uh, 1999. Right. Um, oh, they were real. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Yeah. And then you picked it up, up and you went a different way, and then you fucking came back. Like obviously took somebody else's food first. Right. Like yep. fuck you. Yeah, uh, dude. But I've also done that. You, uh, have you ever done this? Got like to. Uh, 
you know, you park your car at the house with the pizza you're delivering and you realize you forgot the two liter. It's like, oh, fuck. Done that dude. many times, sir. Oh, dude, I've stopped at, uh, what's the name of the place in Slickville, the market? Fuzzies or Muzzies or something? Muzzies, Muzzies. yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've had a lot of out-of-pocket two liters from, uh, <laughs> from down there for getting. Uh, I always went, I always, a lot of times if I did that, I'd always go to the door, let them know I forgot it, because sometimes they'd be like, you know what, man, fuck it. And I'd be like, yes. And then other times you got to come back anyway, so. Right. I always felt bad. I, I, you know, sometimes I'd give them two or something on if I had to go back to the store. Uh, oh, man, I used to, fuck it. I hated that job, dude. The things you do for money. Right? Uh, fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Speaking of, we were discussing your referral bonuses and whatnot and oh, gambling. I'm a gamer, man. Dude, online online gambling to Pennsylvania. Ah, man, I got mad when you told me that story. Right. So I'm all excited because I have been waiting. And we waiting. all have. We all have. It's a monumental day in my life. And you're right. like, like, yes, dude. You mean I don't have to do this shit like through some app that takes it overseas? You mean I can do it legally? Yeah, and... I'm s- sick of buying baby clothes from Thailand on the on my right? on the receipt, dude. Like, and again, last time I tried to deposit Bovada, they shut my card down twice and fucking called me for fraudulent activity. I'm like, yep. dude, I like, I don't know how many times I deposited on here, but it's all cool. Like, we're fine. And they're like, okay, continue, continue using your card. I'm like, thanks. Uh, but uh, it's fine. It's like, it's finally here. Pennsylvania finally pushed it through. Online casinos and poker are coming next month. But. Right. They finally got, there's only one spot up, and it's called Sugar House. It's out of Philadelphia. They already have, like, an app and shit up and running in New Jersey. Um, And they were the first ones to test launch in Pennsylvania. Sugar House. Sugar House, yeah. They had a three-day test launch, and then it it was like, if everything goes good, we're going to open up. We'll be 24-7. We're going to go from there. Super excited. Really excited. Exactly, um, dude. It's, it, it's zero bullshit now. You would think. You would think. Like, you would yes. think. Uh, so I, I'm like, fuck it. Sign me up. Put all my information in. And, you know, they asked for the typical standard stuff, name, address, um, you know, last for your social shit, just to make sure you are who you are. I fill it all out. Oh, wait, well, you didn't tell me that at first. You didn't tell me they actually took your... The last four of your social. Last four, yes. Okay. Wow, and that's I, even more bogus. Right? Exactly. And so I type everything in, and I'm, I mean, I'm not stupid. I know my fucking name. I know where I live. I know my social security number. And so I type it all in, send it out, <clears throat> and they're, you know, you wait. It, there's always this background clearance, background check shit. Like, so it waits, and then it goes, well, we couldn't, we couldn't verify your identity by the information you put in, which kind of confuses me because I'm like, well, I, yeah. I don't know what information you want me to put in because that's that's what I've got. And that's all correct. So I was messing with it and eventually had to talk to somebody. and was like, well, what's going on? And they're like, you know what? Uh, just couldn't properly verify it. Send a picture of your ID. And I'm like, OK, because that's I've the standard sent- for every. Right. I've uh, sent my ID to Bovada years ago. I know. It's sketchy, sketchy as fuck. I know, but you need that money out, dude. Right. (laughs) So I'm like, fuck it. Whatever. Um, And it's a Pennsylvania fucking license. Pennsylvania license. Exact same fucking information I gave them. You know, same address, everything. Send them off the picture. They, uh, and then that fucking sits there for a few days. So it was a three-day test period didn't even send a picture of my ID before that was over because they oh, took man. so long. They took so long. It was ridiculous. Um, so I sent that, and then that sat there for, I don't know, a good day and a half at least. Good, and they say within 72 hours, but I'm like, come on, guys. Like, It's not that hard. Push this shit through. Let me, let me bet. Because I'm trying to lay some money on this fucking Stanley Cup final. I know. It's been fantastic so far. I know. And I've missed out on quite a few bets. uh, And I'm a little irritated by it. But what are you going to do? So it's sitting there. It's waiting. I get on with somebody. And they're like, you know what? Like, we couldn't. 
still couldn't verify. You know what? You're going to have to send a picture of your so- social security oh, card. Oh, my God. I, and like I told you, I draw the line there. That's too much. <laughs> I audibly laughed out loud when I read it. And then I, and then I uh, conveyed that in the, in the text box, like essentially like an LOL. Like, <laughs> you want me to send my social security card, a picture through the Internet to you. And he was like, yeah, we need that. You know, we just we can't verify with what you've given us. And I'm like, dude, I've get, I gave you the last four from the start. They were proper. It was it, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I kept the same four digits in there the whole time. It is the last four digits. You don't need to know the rest of it. And you surely don't need a fucking picture. Of That's it. yeah, dude, that is I mean, I've never even used my social security card. And I love it. It says on it. Keep in wallet. I haven't seen my social security card since. Yeah, right, you should. You should. Ninety four. Right, you shouldn't have to use that fucking thing. Like that no. thing is, that is your identity. Somebody gets a hold of that, you're fucked. Oh, that yeah, that's every like uh, yeah. I don't want that even written down anywhere. Right, like, and I, I I hate giving it up. I last for sure. I've given it to so many fucking people. Right, but the whole number and a picture of it certainly not. And no. and a picture to a fucking casino no thank you no that's not cool speaking i remember the court shocks dude having troubles getting into casinos because they thought they were using the same id i was like you motherfuckers (laughs) oh dude they they look the same yeah you know there's a thing called identical twins and plus you got to hear the story like i get a lot of joy from when kevin Korchok goes on a rambling and just but sometimes it pisses me off like dude shut the fuck up Shut the fuck up. He gets going, talking, and he gets oh, going, Oh, he man. don't stop. And then Keith will chime in, like, say some shit. And Keith will make sense. And then Kevin's like, no, no, Keith. And it's just like, dude, Kevin, relax. And he gets so fucking flustered. I remember I told him one time, I was like, you know what? I, I became a lot more happier when I stopped caring what people thought about me, dude. I was like, once you do that, you're golden, man. And he texted me, like, a couple months ago and said that that was working for him. And I was like, isn't it great, dude? Fuck it. It's just fun to be yourself and not give a shit. No doubt. Like, if you want to look at me sideways, feel free to. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, dude. I know I'm goofy as fuck, dude. Right. Like, it's cool. Sorry you're stuck up and too, like, worried about other fucking people. But exactly. It's not my problem. Fuck it. Now, but speaking of online gambling, this is going to segue perfectly. Hold, I mean, the thing is, we don't Hold on. Hold out. on. Because I just, I, I had, I, I got to finish the story. Oh, my bad, dude. I'm no, sorry. I thought. No. So we, no, yeah. yeah so that was the whole thing. And I talked to multiple people, and I was like, yo, what's, what's the fucking problem? And uh, so after, after talking with a few people and them just being unrelenting on the fact that I had to send them a picture, I was like, okay, here's the deal. I said, I'm obviously not going to be like – I said, I'd love – I've been waiting to deposit money. And I'm sure you'd love to have me deposit some money. Exactly. Um, but if it's going to take a picture of my so- – like, I'm out, and I'm not going to do it. I was like, if that's the case, feel free to shut this account down. I don't, I'm not going to need an account through you. I don't need my email associated with you like, or anything like that. I need to be getting anything from you because uh, I'm not going to deposit. No, so dude. this lady's like, okay, well, we're gonna, what's going to happen is your, your account's going to get locked. We're going to send it off to get closed, and um, it'll be closed you know, uh, when, they get a, like, when they review it and close it. And I'm like, okay. I gave them three, four days, dude, three, four days. And I got, and at one point I got a message that said my ID was confirmed or something. So I hit him up because I was potentially thinking maybe they just cleared me without the social. And the guy was like, oh yeah, your ID went through, but we're still waiting on the social. And I was like, okay. In that case, continue to let it be locked and close it down. And they gave him another few days. Then I got fed up because I got no email about it being closed or anything. Jumped on two days ago or something. Was like, yo, what the fuck's the hold up here? Jesus well, Christ. they got to send it to management and they deal with them in the order that they uh, get them. And, and I said, you know, I, I said, how slow is fucking management? I said, this has been sitting here for days. All you got to do is close the account. Yeah. It's well, be your, clicks. your account's locked. You can't access. I said, I don't care if my account's locked. I don't want. I don't want my email associated with you guys anymore. I don't. I don't want you guys having any of that information on your fucking database. Although they probably stored it anyway. Oh yeah, but, dude. But I'm just like, close the fucking thing. And had to argue with this guy for 15 minutes through 
online fucking chat. And I was like, <laughs> dude, I and I tore him up, got pissed off and was like, fuck management, close, close it. And eventually he goes, OK, your account will be closed today. I say, thank you. Close the fucking box within a half hour. I got an email saying it was fucking closed Thank within God. a half hour. But yet it took f- over five days for, for management to worry about getting around to it. I, I got on there and bitched at that fucking guy, and they closed it immediately. Well, hopefully they have numerous. Like, are they going to cap? Like, how many <laughs> companies can, uh, can get their foot in the game? So what happens is there has to be a casino backing it. So okay. this is – that Sugar House, I don't know who it's backed by. It – some Philadelphia casino, okay. but the rivers will have an app up and running. Um, like I know draft Kings sports book will be in Pennsylvania. I don't know what casinos back in that, but there has to be a casino that actually backs it. So the casino I, has to purchase the license and then they use like a third party to do the app or, okay. the paper or whatever's coming through. Yeah. I got to get home. I, it's as, I have, dude, I couldn't imagine, like, I'm off today. I would love to just drive down to the rivers and just sit in a lounge chair, smoke a cigarette, and fucking, oh, I've my God. i the pictures, man. I haven't, I, I haven't been down yet. I'm not. I, well, hey, you're coming, you're coming when I come home, motherfucker. It's September, dude. That's yeah, I know. a handful of months away. I know. That's three. But, hey, dude, the summertime sucks for gambling pretty much. Oh, no, it's terrible because I, well, that's what I'm so pissed about because, I was hoping I could get in with them so I could bet on this fucking hockey before yeah, it's over. As yeah, soon as that's gone, it's over. Yeah, for you. Uh, I, dude, as a Pirates sweep Milwaukee, we're back in it. So, but I say that. Keep, keep getting your hopes up, Al. Keep I do. Up, I do. I got, my, I got my – dude, I hated Chris Archer two weeks ago. He won two games rocking the jersey right now. Got to wear it all day. Wear it to the party tonight. Like, But – uh. I wanted to say, wait for I didn't mean to cut you off earlier. I thought you were done. I didn't know there was still that, that you actually had trouble closing it, your account. Yeah, it's been a shit show. I fucking hate it. I'll never I'll never put money in that place. But uh, I was going to segue because today is a kickoff of one of the greatest weekends. Well, it is the greatest weekend because it, it's the it's the start of Canal Days. Now, now, check that mic, bud. What's going on? You good? Ooh. Maybe. I have yeah. not even moved, bro. There you go. Yeah, it was it was just it was it was bumping a little bit there. You're good. Uh, canal bad, days. Man. Yes, it's the start of canal days. Uh man, oh memories out the ass. It was the most exciting week in town. because uh, you're just getting off of school because it's always the first weekend in June. Right. And just man, so much heat. Just man, I remember like before drinking was involved. I'd wake up in the morning, I'd see Aaron Adams out there cutting the base pass in the churchyard because it's you're, you're talking serious wiffle ball. Like, you got kids from out of town coming to play. Just, man, so much fun. And then once we started drinking, do you remember, hey, I probably haven't brought this up to you a while. Like, when we first started kicking it, maybe I just, it was the first bet you and I ever made together, that Kings and Devils series. Yes. And you won. Yeah. But do you remember being at uh, Clay Jones's garage and the cops Correct. came? Yeah, I was. I was like, that was all, that was my canal day oh, okay. story that I was going to bring. Not up. Bad. No, but we no, we could talk about it because yeah. that that was that was pretty wild. There was quite a party going on there, dude. I just remember someone was passed out, and the cop looked at me, and I was like, "Fuck!" He was like, "Why aren't you guys drawing on them yet?" And I was <laughs> like, uh, "I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know uh, what to say to that." Yet. If those cops knew the amount of pot that was upstairs, upstairs, I know. I was wow. just telling a story to my coworker the other day. I was like, "Dude, there was a shit ton of weed upstairs," and I was just down there like. Dude, we and went that, to the bar after that. I remember, we're like, dude, we're fucking out that, of here. I mean, that was before I smoked, but there was plenty. Like, people were having a good old fucking time, and doors open, people just sitting right there on the edge, and plenty of people walking back and forth from Canal Days, and you know, fucking Salzburg bum cops love fucking hanging out down there. Oh, they were. I'm surprised they didn't want to make a huge deal out of that. Like, that's why I was so surprised. With, Right, you're expecting them to try and t- try yeah. and get their faces on the front of the fucking uh, free paper down at quick. <laughs> what was that? The salsa, dude. The amount of typos in that thing. I used to be my dad used to laugh our asses off, but uh, yeah, dude, they'd be in the front of the Indiana Gazette the next day, drug bust at Canal Days. Like, dude, what the fuck? But dude, I mean, it was the best. 
it was just so much fun, dude. A lot of like, you know, hanging out with girls for the first time when like you're in middle school, like you know, Again, right? Like you said, it's summertime, so like all that shit you've been talking like throughout the school year, you're finally gonna see people out and about. Yep. With the fireworks on Saturday, it's like, who am I sitting with this week? You know? Yeah. Like, oh, no doubt, dude. I remember like seeing your crush down there and being like, man, like it'd be not having the balls to talk to her and then getting all red faced because that's because I'm yep. an idiot. That's my life. Yep. Yeah. But uh, man, I got dude, just the amount of I posted on Facebook because everyone loves Canelo Days, and I'm telling dude, ain't no one loves Salzburg more than me. It's documented. Um, I tried to make Salzburg not cool, but like. People hate Salzburg, but I was like, I remember telling myself, you can't choose where you grow up from. So I was like, dude, it's Salzburg, baby. And uh, I got some funny comments on my uh, page, but I uh, I completely forgot about that old mill story where, like, a lot of my homeboys <laughs> got fucked up, man. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I got the story from Mitchell, but I can't, uh, I can't remember it the whole way, but... There was like seven or eight of kids in that old mill, which right. was a so, old abandoned. Yeah, it's old, shut down, abandoned, but like right there on the canal. And yeah. I mean, that, how long that thing's been there since I fucking I remember. Like, yeah, it, it's been non-functioning, just a, an empty gut of a like shell of a building. Yeah, there's always just been like one caution taped area. Like, don't yeah. go in here. Like, okay, that's a crazy that that even happened. But anyways, it was all. The, all kids that graduated in 09, a year younger than me, like Mitchell, Jesse Sinclair, Waylon, all them kids, mm -hmm. that class. And they are up fucking around, and they had, like, old-ass chemicals in there, dude, like in, in, in jars. I don't know what they were for. And Dylan Carr tipped one over, dude. I don't know if it was chlorine or uh, what's that cleaning shit? Pneumonia. Uh, uh, ammonia. Whatever. That's a big <laughs> pneumonia. That's you what you get when, when it's cold outside. Out. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm gonna butcher something, man. <laughs> but I guess that glass broke, dude, and this shit went into the air, and people were fucking, dude, burning, screaming, like burning their eyes, burning their skin, coughing and shit up, dude. And I was at Quick Pick at the time because they had like fifty cent extra large pops out of the fountain. Okay. And I was there with Justin Reed, dude, and one of the Zettler kids walked in. Equipment was packed, and he was like, "Don't go, to, don't go back to the Cadell. Huge chemical spill." I was like, "What? Like, what are you talking about, dude?" First thing you did was go back to the canal. No doubt, dude. Me and Justin yeah. are like, "What the fuck?" And the first thing I saw was John Sinclair, motherfucking a paramedic in the back of an ambulance. I was like, "Holy shit!" Because me and the Sinclair family, we always went to the beach. Our family and their family, we were supposed to be leaving in the morning. Oh, shit. So I'm like, fuck, dude, if Jesse can't go, fuck that. And I'm like making sure he's cool. And I see Mitchell, man, with my all time best buddies. He's fucked up. Wayland's fucked up. And I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. And I remember just sitting, watching fireworks. I was actually talking to Mark. He said uh, that day his dad took him shopping and he had the matching um, Nike cutoff, Nike shorts, black and yellow. Oh, shit. He, yeah, I was like, damn, yeah, man, that's a hard get up. But I remember watching the fireworks, and you'd see an ambulance go. Then, like, you'd see one come back. And you'd see, like, another one come up, a different one. I was like, dude, these kids are fucked up, man. Lucky they kill them. Right. I, well, what the fuck is all that shit, old shit doing in there anyway? It's like Salzburg, dude. That, uh, that's the most Salzburg thing. Yeah, like, shut her down. Don't let anybody in here. Put up one, one thing of caution tape. No one will go up there. Don't, don't bother with anything in those old fucking jars. Yeah. That could just combust, but dude, that was that's that's definitely the craziest uh, Canelo Day story. Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember how old I was. I was younger. I want to say like I don't know, middle school. I don't even. I I can't even give an estimate. I was just a kid. I would just say that. Remember they had that marshmallow guns down there, dude. Oh yeah, man. Uh, the homeboy Justin Gold. He lived down the road. He said, I didn't know this. He said, people started using jelly beans in them things. I was like, oh, my God, dude. But, um, Take a fucking eye out. Holy I remember Marshall. Remember the cop, Marshall? Oh, yeah. He, he rolled that. He rolled that. Uh, he rolled the cop car and fucking he got ended, fired. Yeah, he ended the Salzburg Police Department for four or five years. I wish they'd do that again. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Fucking losers. But, yeah, dude, he got, like, a bunch of us, man, and, like, got us all together and was motherfucking us about these marshmallows. And I was like, hey, what the fuck are you going to do? Like, I was, but, but anyways, that night, because Rose, Rose and Tom Pazer, a.k.a. the compound,
we're on the con or Rose and Tom Pizer always had bangers on the compound. And uh, me and Mark were up there with them marshmallow guns up in his bedroom. <laughs> and I was driving past in a truck. Um, I'm not going to say his name, but Andrew Geist does the most spot on impression of this guy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. Yes. We see his truck coming and he's kind of going slow and we're fucking crushing his truck with these marshmallows, dude. I'm like, oh, fuck. And he stops and he gets out and he's yelling at Rose. And she, he's like, I already took those guns for my kids. You better take them off of yours. And she was like, what do you want them to do? Wash your truck? And he was like, no, no. And we could hear the conversation. And Rose comes up the steps, and she was like, put them damn guns away. And, like, she wasn't even that bad, but I was like, god damn, dude. Covered this black truck with many marshmallows, man. <laughs> he was pissed. Uh, fuck. But, uh, that and uh, another one, um, when, when I first got on to online gambling. I should have told that one first, but uh, that old mill story kicks ass. I The first site I bet with was sportsbook.com. Okay. And, I like that site because you could put ten dollars in at a time. You didn't have to put twenty five. Or now they got ones at fifty minimum. Man, it's right. like, fuck. But uh, so it was a weird Canal Days, dude. I posted the picture. It was uh, it was nine years ago yesterday, and I'm twenty. So it's a shitty day. It's a shitty Saturday in Salzburg, raining. And I think all every single one of my friends went to the Kenny Chesney concert that day. Ah, oh, shit. No okay. one around. I can't go to the bar. Um, where everyone else was at because it was raining. And so I just told Mark, he wasn't around. He was at the concert, I believe. And I was like, hey, me and Tony Jewelry, we're getting a case of beer. We're just going to hang out at your house so we can just walk back and forth. Right. The and so there was nothing to gamble on because it's a Saturday in Ju uh, June. And I was like, fuck it, man. I was showing Tony like online gambling and stuff like that. And I was like, uh, let's start playing blackjack, dude. And so we're playing blackjack. I'm depositing the money like I shouldn't have been, losing money. And then finally went to the specialty games and found super high-low bonus. Do you know that game? Uh, uh, very little, but yeah. Uh, they still have it on my bookie. Anyways, you're dealt nine cars, three rows of three. You click on one, and then you basically just say the next one, higher or lower, or red or black. You could add to it. Right. To win more money. And they had an algorithm. So, like, if you took a four, of course you're going to take higher. But if you took lower, it would pay you, like, man, big time money. Right. So we, we turned 10 bucks into it 100 just like that. Oh, we're going nuts, dude. I remember covering my eyes and finding the mouse and clicking. <laughs> and, oh, it was intense, dude. I think we got up to $145. So we go down to the canal. I was like, we got to get something to eat, man. And we went down where the bathrooms were at. Yep. And there's these two big Italian dudes grilling Italian sausage. And me and him, me and Tony, just start fucking losing it. And these guys are looking at us like we're fucked up. And we were. But the guy was like, because there's a huge sign. And it said, Ellen Tony's. <laughs> we were like, what the fuck? This is hilarious. <laughs> and this big dude's looking at me. He's like, uh, you got a problem or can we help you? And I was like, I'm L. This is Tony. And he looked at me with a huge smile and was like, <laughs> I'm Tony. This is L. Like 20 minutes, man. They gave us some free food. Uh, it was awesome. But I had brought that up, and uh, someone I talked to said that the Tony's in prison now. I guess they were like big time money laundering thugs. And I was like, uh, even dude. making 20 grand at Canal Days, huh? Oh, dude. But it was just the funny. Yeah, yeah. On a Saturday with about a hundred people there. But oh, dude. When he looked at me with that smile after I said it to him, because he looked pissed. He thought we were like making fun of him or something. But, uh, no, dude, Tony said he saw him, like, a couple years later and recognized him and talked to him and shit. shit. I, was, I think he had a restaurant down in Pittsburgh or something. But, yeah, Tony's in prison now. But uh, <sighs> that was good times, man. Good times down Canal Days, dude. It was just, you know, some, I mean, it was the most exciting weekend in Salzburg. I mean, Absolutely. it was like a summer. Man, it was even greater when you start drinking. I remember seeing uh, Andy Fortweiler one time tried to bring a case of Bush into the bar. And I was like, oh, my God. I remember that. Yep. You can't that, have that in here. Yeah. All right. I'll take it elsewhere. He was like, I'm just going to sit it down here. I'm not going to drink it. And she was like, uh, no. Like, you don't do that shit to Brendan. Dude, Brendan will snap. Right. Brendan don't play those games. I walked out of the bar. And he was passed out at the bench in front of Fox's. I was like, oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> boy. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, man, I wish I, I mean, it's all right. I mean, Canelo Days is kind of corny, but it's a Salzburg thing. It's the only thing Salzburg got. Um, yep. I got my cool. I got my plans to go down tomorrow. Ah, nice. You got to take the kid down? 
Yeah, that's the that's the plan. We uh, put yeah, them in the stroller, push them around a little bit. I was we. You're what's gonna, that? You know, and I know you. You're gonna have people you hate coming up and talking to you, and you're gonna get pissed. I know it. You're gonna get aggravated, dude. I guarantee. Welcome, it. welcome to life. Yes. Yes. And it's fucking Salzburg, so you know you're gonna see a bunch of fucking people that you, you know. I don't know if I'll ever have a kid, but uh, like, tell Brendan to come outside and see him. <laughs> oh, I will. I'll, I'll take him up and put him outside. I might put him outside and put a bike chain on him and, you know, go, go have a beer or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Uh, this little lungs getting one whiff of sold in air. Oh, man. It just collapsed. He, he's had a few. Uh, we were in there a time or two when she was pregnant, so. Oh, shit. He got a little taste of the the smoke. He's already ready, that dude. You can probably yeah. take, get him a draft. Uh, we were down there. Uh, we actually stopped down yesterday. We were we were around town, and um, we stopped down Point Street real quick, and they're prepping the canal. All the firefighters are down there getting their fucking fried doughs ready and whatnot. Um, oh, man. Did I ever tell you about, because uh, you know Jack Edmondson, who committed the... Oh, yeah. We should talk about that one day. <laughs> one day. Um, but, uh, he was always man and he was always making the sandwiches down there. And this is right after he killed that guy. And I wanted to go to the fucking, the booth so bad. I'd be like, ah, where's Jack at? He's sick or something. <laughs> but I didn't have the balls, <laughs> but it was funny. You think we could get him on the podcast one day? Oh uh, man. I don't know what it costs a minute. I do know what it costs a minute, but we'll talk about that sometime later soon. <laughs> but, uh, uh, they had, it would be a real expensive podcast. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Fuck. No, he actually, in all seriousness, he signed a thing, a part of the plea deal to not get the death penalty, that he can't make any money from that. Like, if, oh. if someone was to write a book about it or make, like, a, one That's of the. A shame. Yeah. One of those shows about it. Well, can he, uh, can. Can we can we make money off it and just not him? I don't know. That's dude. Let me get lost on the uh, the the uh, the Google. All right. Yeah. Look it, that up because we'll yeah. we'll be like we'll just take your story, turn it. So you won't necessarily make money, but maybe you'll get famous off of it. Dude, no doubt. That guy <laughs> caught me walking to Marks one time with like a backpack can probably fit twenty beers. Yeah. I probably put forty five in them. There were so many in there. You could see the out lot of cans in the book bag. And he stopped me, dude. And he was like, what, what are you doing? And I was like, go to my buddy's house. He's like, give me one of those. And I was like, uh, all right. And I gave him one, dude. I get I'm surprised out. he didn't try to take half of it. I know, or kill me. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shoot you, take your beer. Well, if there was like, L got shot walking to Marks with a book bag full of beer, they'd be like, well, I never really saw him anywhere else. It's just what at that time. But, uh, oh, good times, man. But yeah, we got to get into some stuff like that. We got to start making some uh, some Salzburg episodes that it's just like, we got to get Goose on. We got to get Goose. <laughs> we got to get Goose on. Uh, he actually was the only person. I said in the original in the original post, DM me your, your Canal Day story. What's everybody do? Just start posting them. So I edited it. Goose followed directions. Only person that uh, DM'd me. But he told me him and Clay Jones were drunk as fuck, and Clay was driving, and they were going to take his truck through the canal and take out every single booth. No. And Goose said he talked him out of it. And then uh, right right <laughs> after that, Clay was on top of his truck pissing and fell right through the windshield. And shit, uh. the whole thing was gone. But I just pictured Goose and Clay going through the canal, dude, just wiping out. Just wiping out every fucking booth. <laughs> People coming down on Saturday morning, like, oh, I'm going to get my fried dough, and it's just fucking mayhem. <laughs> it's like a tornado went through, dude. That was a good one, man. I was like, I'll talk about that. Yeah, but we got to get Goose on, man. You're talking to Salzburg Hall of Famer, man. Uh, yeah, we got to we gotta get some of the uh, – we got to get some guests lined up. We got too many good ones to – Yeah, just people. I want to pick their brains, man. I know. Like, and, you know, get them – I mean – they know we're, we're getting some notoriety doing this. I'm sure people will be like, hell yeah, yeah I'll get on, dude. Like, uh, Max said he wants to get back on. He said he was too fucked up last time. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I still yeah. don't. I still don't listen back to the episodes. I'll just so uh, you know, dude. I'll listen to this as soon as it's done on the Skype. App. Yeah. And yeah. Not not once have I. Uh, not once have I done it. Uh, actually, it's kind of crazy. 
they're funny, and I use it to get better. Like, I'll find myself saying, dude, so many times, and I'll try not to say it. I know. I do the same thing. The problem is I know it when it's happening, and then I still don't do anything to stop it. That's also not natural because, like I said, it's just me and you talking if we were on the phone or sitting right beside each other. Right. So, no, I like it funny, man. Yeah. Um. All right, let's hit these fucking uh, let's hit these things real quick. I gotta go take care of this kid soon. Uh, all right, sports, dude. I'm I'm back on the bucko train. I'm bipolar with these guys. They, uh, dude, they're tough. I will give them that. They're fucking tough. They have a guy pitching tonight, Tick, at Milwaukee, aka the House of Horrors, where they lost 27 in a row one time. <laughs> Guess what his name is? What is it? Rookie Davis. It's his first start as a pirate. He used to get rocked when he fucking pitched for Cincy. So tonight will be interesting with one of the best hitting teams in baseball. Um, dude, they're plus 220. I'm betting hard on them, dude. Lay it. That's going to be – maybe that's an L's pick, but I can't really put my word behind that because at plus 220, you're just trying to strike gold. You're not really making right. an educated bet. But, that's uh, just they, trying to hit the hit the underdog, make but, some make some money. Well, this dude at minus one, they're plus two ninety five. So why not just take a minus one because they got to win by one anyways? I guess that w- would push. But right. I don't, I'm taking this one at plus two ninety five, man. That's crazy for baseball. It's pretty large. Well, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a little bucko report. Hopefully, ball or uh, St. Louis will finish some cowards off tomorrow. Yeah, not tomorrow. Uh, not they did tomorrow. The new thing, dude. Uh, it's two days. I fucking hate it. I'm over it. I hate the NHL and their scheduling. Yeah, they never used. Did they only do that for the Stanley Cup? Now, though, I think. No bullshit. I mean, how often do you got to play in the weeks prior to coming up to this game, and then you want to fucking sit here and drag it out as long as possible? Fuck what that, off. What that was made for was say you got the Rangers in Vancouver right. in the final. But That's this is fine. But let's be honest first, here. East that's in the west, other than Nashville. Right. That's let's, a two-hour plane trip. Al, let's be honest. It, all these teams have private jets. They're home before fucking midnight anyway. It doesn't yeah. even matter. Like, I know. Fuck it's it. bullshit. It's sad yeah. because it almost takes the excitement out of it. because you're It just, does. You're anticipating it. Like, no. And then you sit and wait and you forget about it. And you forget yeah. about it. And not only that, the giant fucking gap between the end of the conference finals and the Stanley Cup. There was fucking five days. Get oh. out of here. After Four. both are ready. Yeah, once once both were finished, I think I think they finished on a Thursday and didn't start till like Monday or something fucking stupid. That, I, can't, man, I hate it, man. It's so dumb. It's uh I wonder dude, why there's no hype and they don't fucking get the following that they're looking for. Yeah, no, I don't even agree with it, but I would understand. Okay, after game 2, you want to have 2 days off. Okay. That's travel, it's move the series. Sure. I, I get that. No, dude. I mean, come on. Between every travel day though. Every travel yeah. day is 2 days. Fuck off. I know, I know. I've watched very little. Well, oh, plus because I'm a sore loser pussy, I won't watch it. Like the Penguins lost, dude. I was. You were telling me how good hockey was, and I was like, "Tick, I'm be. I haven't watched a game." I'm dude, not- I wasn't. I wasn't only watching four games of the playoffs this year. Right. I had to. I had to go. I know, boy, that sucked. <laughs> what oh. a shame, huh? <laughs> dude, that was in and out. <laughs> that was like a quick pick trip. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna hit this. Uh, this ticks pick real quick this yeah, week. Yeah, you didn't even hit this one at me yet, I don't think. I didn't even throw it at you yet. T- this week we're going we're going with a fucking blues legend, Texas fella himself, Stevie Ray Vaughn. Love uh, him. Nice. Uh legit, I mean he he is a legend. It's kind of crazy when you look back at his uh at his track record and like what he actually went through to become as successful as he was. Dude, he he jumped on the scene in um like 69. He started playing in Texas with, like, God, he probably played with 10 different bands, man. He was all over the place playing with a bunch of different people. The first, his debut album didn't come out till 83. So, yeah, dude, well over a decade in the game before he fucking put out an actual album. Um, and the first album he put out was fucking Texas Flood. That's the one we're speaking of today. This thing's packed. Um does that have uh from the house? This is a rocky end. No, no any- it does not have that one on it. Actually, that reminds me of eight eleven so much because Rose just had her stereo set to DVE and it was never shut off. I always hear that song come on. But I finally set up my stereo and I got the FM channels up there and I've been digging some DVE lately. Late night DVE is where it's at. Is that when they do it with no breaks between the songs? They just yeah, pretty much. It's just like and then there's a few commercials here and there. 
let me tell you a bad experience I had with it, though, that pissed me off the other night. I don't know if you saw it. It was on Twitter. But uh, fucking DVE, I'm listening. They got they, – they play Guns N' Roses. Okay. November Rain. You know the song, right? Yeah, I've heard it. Okay. It's, an, it's a long song. It's like a nine-minute – It's it's got this, like, super extended solo. It's got these really long fucking, like, breaks and shit. Uh, it it's a lengthy fucking song. Those motherfuckers, I'm listening to it, and they chopped out so much, and they chopped down to like five minutes, dude. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, you're you're gonna play the song, and then you're gonna you're gonna rob us of the entirety of oh, it, dude. The only especially other- especially at two thirty in the morning. Who the fuck right. is listening that really cares? Uh, <laughs> so not not only that, and I'm listening. They go to a commercial. First song back from commercial. Freebird. Full nine minute song played the entire oh, way through. Oh no! I was like, dude, you gotta be kidding! Wow, dude, the, gonna... only ex- <sighs> the only experience I ever had with that is one of my all time favorite rap songs, "Rapper's Delight." I'm sure you've heard of that. Yes. That's a 14 minute song, dude. And they'll just play the first five minutes sometimes, and it it aggravates the piss out of me. Right, I agree. And November Rain is up there on my, especially on my uh, Guns N' Roses list probably top two and uh to watch them cut it down like that and then bring it back with fucking free bird and play the entire thing i was losing my mind uh i i dude i'm not a huge skinner fan uh my best friend down here loves them i uh, dude uh i hate free bird but i like the uh whatever the song that smell Ooh, that that song came yeah. dude, that song makes me want to just one tip a fifth and go walking like uh but stevie ray vaughn yeah back to Tex- it back to yeah, it texas flood uh came out and 83. Okay. Uh, he's got very much, he's got a very, uh, he's got a different style. It's kind of like a shuffle rhythm kind of thing. He's got his own style. You know, when you're hearing him play, you know what it is. This guy, great blues artist. Um, I mean, fuck, look him up in, uh, look him up, Rolling Stone. Guaranteed he's in the top 20 guitar players of all time. You know, I was just going to bring that up. I actually had that issue. That was one of my favorite things I subscribed to. And when they had the top 100 or top 50 guitarists, I'm yeah. not sure if it was him and then Hendrix or then Hendrix and then him, one, two. Really? Yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive, dude, because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of Stevie Ray Vaughan because I hate his cover of fucking Red House. Okay. Go ahead. That's, but, uh, yeah. That's fine. Look, he, he got a lot of flack back in the day. There were people telling him he, he wasn't original enough, and I'm sorry, but eh. I mean... Maybe back in the day with all the blue shit going on, they just didn't see the difference. But he was quite the guitar player. And this, the debut album, pretty packed with heat. Uh, Love, it opens up with Love Struck Baby. Great song. Pride and Joy, you know that one. Yes. Um, guitar Hero, play that on Expert. <laughs> uh, Texas Flood is also on the front side. That's a uh, Larry Davis cover. He covers a, quite a few songs on this uh Is on Red this House album. on there? No, it is not on this. I want to listen because honestly, dude, I, I my Stevie Ray Vaughan knowledge is minimal. I bet he's got some bangers that I've never even just taken the time just to listen to. So Absolutely, yeah, some I, of my favorite stuff. Uh, side two on this on this album opens up. There's two instrumentals I love, and when he plays these instrumentals, it's it's fucking great because you don't you don't need lyrics, dude. He makes he makes the guitar sing. It's fucking great. Uh, Rude Mood is the opener on side two. Okay. Straight instrumental. It's great. He, di- he does a cover of uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb by Buddy Guy that's pretty solid. And then uh, closes it out. Uh, I listened to this right before we started the podcast. Lenny is uh, the last song in the album, and it's an instrumental. And it's okay. fucking rock solid, dude. Um, just, uh, just, just fun, something a little bit different, a little bit of bluesy. I mean, he's a, he is a legend in Austin. I think they have a, they have a statue up. up no shit. I know that. City. Uh, motherfucker died in a helicopter crash. Yeah, in, I was going to uh, ask you 1990. that. I knew, I knew he died in something tragic. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a, heli- a helicopter crash, 1990. He was 35. Wow. So still, still a young fella, but, I mean, he's, he's made his way into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and all that good stuff. I mean, well-deserved. Um, but the, the, uh, first album from him, Texas flood gives you a good sense of who he is. But like you said, that house is a rock and don't bother knocking that. I think that popped up on DV the other day. Oh, and dude, that's him and out. I love it. 
that's a staple, dude. Absolutely. Catch that on the electric lunch every we once should, in a while. You know what we should do? That's good. Mark. And let's make a DVE playlist on Spotify. We should. Yeah. yeah I feel like it'd be a great idea. I gotta get up, I gotta get back up that shop and save playlist back up and running. Oh, dude, that thing I'll is play on it enough. fire. Permanently. I think it got cleaned up. I think. I think some people went through and cleaned up some of the excessive stuff that was in there. Well, yeah, someone posed or Tony. I was like, I think he was got, adding full albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just posted the heat, but it's always like a, uh, it's it's a the decision for me because I'll hear a song from that era and be like, should that go? Because we have a playlist called Yep that's got like six hundred songs. Okay, but it's like, man, can this one make the Souls for Shop and Save? Because it's got to be from that not not necessarily that era, but it's got to be that kind of style of music. Because for right. years and years, Rose would give us twenty bucks, and me and Mark would watch the Shop and Save, and that fucking that'll be the day by the Crickets would be on every single time we went in there. The it's Shop and be Save banger, game. dude. Yeah, a lot of Buddy Holly, uh, but uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, we should definitely do that. But uh, say, can eat. you? Uh, Rolling. Can you bring up the SSP real quick? Yes, sir. Give me one second. I'm scared to move. <laughs> this spot would have. I had you so much. Should be. Hey, how about how about them uh, messing with these fucking poles, huh? Oh, dude, what is that? And like, when when something like that happens, I know you said you were doing some extensive research. I just go to Twitter and search, kind of. Usually, couple, what I do. Yes. Yeah, that's the best. That's what I think Twitter's uh, great usage is is for that. It's news right now, like. And I did see some from like four or five hours ago to when I had searched and said, what happened to Facebook's poll feature? But then it was weird that it let me do it from the the uh, the, the, the show page. Yes. So, yeah. I, guess, um, I mean, it's not like it's going to affect it, but I thought they got rid of it all. And I was like, dude, the SSP is over, man. I was bummed. Uh, they can't take us down yet. Um, <laughs> so we've got uh, – so we're still on the tornado hurricane. Yes, we had to recap that. This one right. wasn't even mentioned. Now we're back. We're caught up. We're caught right. up. Now. now we will recap this one more time. We're at 92 votes now. Nice, so, dude. I like so it. Got I some like it. Votes. Uh, what is it? I we, went there. We got 58 percent hurricane, 42 percent tornado. So it's pretty. It's a pretty tight race. Uh, 53 hurricane, 39 tornado. So right, dude. I wish if I have friends with more people here uh, on Facebook, I better think- start reaching out, Al. Ah, dude, I keep to myself. People see me like, I don't know. Someone just probably come talk to me today. I guarantee it for 45 minutes at the grocery store. And I'm like, dude, I got to go. The powers are starting. But, uh, uh, ah, dude, there were a lot of, lot of um, very uh, extensive quote or uh, comments in the comment section about, like, someone was like, well, you know, hurricanes cause tornadoes. So I was like, ah, it's a good, good point. Yeah. Um, but I've, I don't know. I've never been through a hurricane. I've been through the repercussions of them. But, like, I don't know, dude. I think a tornado, I think a hurricane, you got days and days and days to plan for that shit. Right. That's why I do tornadoes. And that's not even just because I'm a Midwest kid now. Yeah, I think it was but, a uh, weather expert, Korchok, that chimed in on that. It was <laughs> like, yeah, you, you can track hurricanes for weeks off the coast. Yeah. But that tornado, dude, and I've seen it down here. And not, we've been lucky this summer, dude. But for about uh, last month, dude, that siren was going the fuck off. And I'm going outside like, here we go, here we go. Like, and but this the the sheer devastation that a tornado brings so fast. And like how you said, um, you know, the, or or what the buddy said, but you were piggyback on it, said, you know. Those houses where hurricanes happen, they're built for those. Yep. Like, yeah, this meth addicted trailer park is not going to withstand a Category Four tornado, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. So that should. Uh, I think that's a. That, it's bound. I think it goes off tomorrow. So that'll end tomorrow, and then we will get a fresh SSP. You got one yes. for us? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And you're gonna have to help me word this one. I might, but uh, it's summertime. Uh, I know it's not the solstice of summertime on the 21st, but Memorial Day to me has always been the kickoff of summer. And since I am the son of summer, I'm going to try to keep it the SSP summer friendly all summer. Okay. It'll be the summer friendly summer Saturday pool. That's <laughs> a tough one. That's a mouthful for it is, now. dude. Yeah, man, you know when I could say something like that fluently, it's like. Boy, you've been practicing, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saying that in the mirror 20 times before, <laughs> yeah, after I wake dude. up. 
and then pointed at myself. You can do this. <laughs> like, but uh, all right, I'm going with it because you know one of the greatest things. It's my favorite thing apart about the summer. Um, grilling out. Uh, because I eat nothing but meat, and I'm growing all the time. Um, and so we're going to go with, uh, do you prefer propane slash gas or charcoal? But we got it. I know everyone's going to say, like you texted me yesterday, the ease of gas and propane versus right. the taste of charcoal. However, one of my favorite people of all time, Hank Hill, who sold propane and propane accessories, his quote was, you taste the meat, not the heat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh right. Yeah, we'll throw it out there. I'm sure someone's gonna say what exactly what we said just now. Be like, exactly. All right. I mean, that's that's that is the uh, the decision to be made. Like, are you willing to go through with the charcoal yes. process? Everybody loves the oh, I love the extra flavor. Charcoal gives fine. You know what? I'm not that. Now that I really think about, I don't miss the flavor of charcoal. Well, like, dude, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. When I first moved down here. Uh, Mark's old roommate, Scott Hallecky, OG, doing big things out in uh, Colorado. He got us into, like, the bratwurst because, like, he's from Chicago and just mm-hmm. all into that. And we were all – dude, he had this sh- shitty-ass small little charcoal grill that you get from the sh- uh, the grocery like the, store. Yeah, the tiny ones. Yeah, but we would just cook brats on that. But his girlfriend bought him – it looked like a pyramid. And you put the charcoal in that, and, it, dude, it sped it up like – oh. Dr- drastically so right. we were it is a pro it is a process yeah dude. uh also hey i never thought of this story my uncle ted one of my all-time people rest his soul we were tailgating at station square for a pit west virginia game one time and he had one of them shitty coleman grills <laughs> and you're not allowed to tailgate at station square but he's like dude this grill so small dude, anyways he's trying to light it and there must have been gas in it and he he had it shut and Hit it again and open it. Dude, the sound this grill made when it exploded. <laughs> Boom! He fell down. I'm fucking like, holy shit. I'm like 10 years old. And then we see the cop come down. I was like, oh, man, we're fucked. And he let us go. But every time I saw him, we'd always tell that story. Dude, it was, it, it, there was no fireball, but something exploded. And that right. grill, dude, it knocked us down. But... um. I cook on I cook on propane. What I like to my homeboy Neil, I go down when they're growing out. He he he'll do the charcoal, um, but yeah, I think that's how is charcoal the taste of charcoal worth the, the, the ease process. of gas? Yeah, right. Now, dude, I'm a I'm very much propane guy. Hook up yeah. the tank, open it up, light it, let it heat up a little bit, and throw it on. Done. Uh, I was always real good at uh, eight eight oh one down here, leaving the uh, propane tank on. <laughs> Yeah, smell like, that gas when you wake up in the morning like yeah, yeah and no one be like ah oh, i was grilling last night and then picking up the propane tank they're like i gotta take this fucker back already <laughs> but yeah. uh all right son yeah. uh, so i was gonna say smoker so i prefer smoke I will, dude, i'm deleting them all blocking them fuck well i'm gonna hit canal days tomorrow i'll let you know uh, how it goes it's, send me some snapchats yes sir you better believe it but uh get me one uh get me one of brenda Give okay. me giving a shout out. Get Brenda to do the intro. Okay. Record I'll that. I, I'll dude. see what I can do. I know it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be hectic. But it, look, I always have it on in mind, and then I forget to do it. So right. if anybody listens to this and sees me out and about and wants to do an intro, feel free to just uh, you, stop me and go, hey, let me record an intro real quick. Yeah, you got dude. Those kids that always listen to our shit, they said they'll be down there. So get one of them, dude. They'll be more than happy to do it. All right, I'll do my best to remember, but I'll you brain don't work the way it used to. Tough. Preaching to the choir. <laughs> All right, son, I'll, uh, I'll catch you next week. All right, man, have a good weekend, bro. Later.